how to set up the oxygen analyzer cell on a nitrogen generator. Hit the menu button, put in your password, 6557, enter. Go to your sensor setup. This unit is using a percentage unit, which is the max 250. So you click on that, make sure it's green, hit next. It's a two point calibration and it's a max O2 percentage unit. What you have to have is you have to have compressed air and you need to have a, a bottle of gas that has a certificate. So right now you're seeing no um, parameters put in. The digital raw value is reading 1216 um, with atmosphere. But in the field you'd want to take a piece of tubing. This is a quarter inch piece of tubing. We are connecting it on the wedge handle just past the regulator. We will take that and connect it to the analyzer input. In the field, your connection at this point would probably be under pressure. So you want to make sure to cut it off at your nitrogen storage tank. Make your connection here. Turn the wedge handle valve on. Now we've got compressed air going through the tubing to the analyzer. And so at this point, I would go into the setup. Again, it's 6557. Sensor setup, two point calibration, max O2. Right now, I've got a, a reading of 20.9%. 20.9% is the atmospheric condition and that should be compressed air. So I want to put that on my calibration source 20.9 that's atmosphere and then my raw value is 1216 so I put in 1216. So now when I go back to my, my touch screen uh, beginning it's going to show that I'm at 20.9. Now, I want to set up using my calibration gas, my high limit. So at this point, I'm going to disconnect my compressed air. Make sure to close the valve before you disconnect it. Then set up your calibration gas. This calibration gas has a certificate with it. It is 1.3% oxygen with a balance of nitrogen. So I'm going to slowly cut this on. I've got about 70 psi, 60 or 70 psi going to the generator's analyzer. You can see I'm starting to, you'll, you'll see this start to adjust, which it is. So I'm going to go back in. Sensor setup, next, two point calibration. Now, on this, I'm going to be at 1.3. This is my other source of gas. Once I set it up to 1.3, I want to make sure that I've got um, a stable reading on my, on my sample gas. It'll take a, you know, a minute or so for that to completely stabilize. Once it stabilizes, then I'll put that in my raw value for my second source. What that does is it sets up a two-point calibration. The system will automatically draw a line between them, which will give us a linear output on our screen for our oxygen analyzer. So we're pretty level now so if I put in 1.07 or 107 excuse me now I'm at 1.28 where 1.3 was the was the setup on the gas this will vary plus or minus about 0.1 and anything between 1.3 and 20.9 percent should be on that curve 
everything should be linear so now you should be set up you can verify at any point in time this method looks like I'm still drifting a little bit just on the setup you can verify it at any time just by putting this same gas back on there quarterly biannual however often you want to do it to make sure that your system's set up perfect so 